All right, thank you for um, eating and listening this this session. And uh, let's get connected. My name is Alkin. I'm from Istanbul, Turkey, and um, I'm here to share some experiences about authoring a book. Hopefully, um, I'll share the slides you can go through and, and contact me if you have any questions later on. I'm kind of known as AskDB as, as my nick. I've been in this uh, business for a long time uh, with the open source databases, and also I have enterprise uh, database backup. Um, so I also like sailing, and um, I do a bunch of time spent uh, on the sail road, and this book is part of that. So it's kind of a work-life uh, thing that uh, out of uh, four chapters are written in this sailboat. So uh, if you have any questions about uh, the sailing, it would be a good discussion to have also. All right, uh, this is where I work, and we actually focus on uh, ClickHouse infrastructure operations net right now. And what does that have to do with MySQL? Well, the data comes from MySQL or Postgres, so there's a big link between the uh, OLAP processing and the OLTP processing, so that's what my area is. Also, it's an open source database. And uh, what does it do? It's a columnar, fast analytics, um, cloud-compatible database. And um, if you haven't tried it, maybe you can try it for the analytical workloads and uh, ask questions for um, future reading or something like that. And um, so let's get to the book. Uh, the book is also here. It's uh, 1.6 kilograms. Um, this book was uh, written by Paul, um, who is an Oracle um, employee. And he actually didn't want to write the fourth edition. And um, this actually includes um, developer and administrative chapters in it. So it's a mix and match. It's a solution based. O'Reilly's cookbooks are solution based. So there's a problem and the solution uh, type. Right now it's uh, 938 pages. I think um, that's what the book is. And um, this book took about uh, over two, two years uh, to write and rewriting and rewriting and rewriting. I can say that there's a lot of uh, rewriting and reviewing goes on with, uh, with these large chapters. It actually, what happens is when you actually uh, rewrite, when you go back after eight months of a chapter that you worked on, you may not remember what you wrote. So. Um, I also co-authored this book, actually, is Sveta is a MySQL expert, is known in the MySQL community, and you can follow her uh, Twitter and, and blog posts. Uh, she has a lot of talks about uh, MySQL, MySQL troubleshooting, uh, things like that. She was the primary um, author for this book, so unfortunately she's not here, and um, she says hi. So how do I not over here? This, um, there's a, a 10,000 hour things, and actually we walked into this building this morning, there's a 10,000 hour uh, sign. Yeah, it's more or less, it's a 10,000 hour thing, so it takes 10,000 hour, hours to master a skill, but maybe sometimes on the sailing, it takes 10,000 nautical miles to um, um, go, and, um, and then maybe on a motorcycle, it's 10,000 kilometers to be master a skill. So it actually took me 10,000 hours to uh, author a book. Uh, there is, it, you need to have a luck uh, to get uh, a book um, published. Um, I always wanted to author a book, but this wasn't my intention, like uh, writing a technical book. I was kind of planning on a non-technical book. I've done um, some experiments, and uh, it took a um, pandemic um, to trigger this, because there's nothing else to do in the free time. We were locked in. So before that, I authored blogs. You can check my blogs um, if you search Google. And uh, I also attempted to write an, a booklet about like um, maybe eight years or 10 years ago. Um, but that also took me about um, like a year and a half to get. It was a MySQL learning book, uh, booklet. Uh, and then it got published as, as a bit another, we'll talk about that, um, authors. Uh, from our ex-colleagues, and um, so I did invite uh, many co-authors. I spoken to the people that who actually authored books with other publishers, but never got uh, to that point. Um, I've given a lot of talks um, globally, and uh, that helped me uh, to be actually learning about the, the subject and the technology. And I always focused on the same open source uh, databases for the last, um, let's say, a decade and a half. Um, I go back in a little bit more than that in my uh, professional life, but um, previously I was on the enterprise side of the house. So it's about three decades of experience put together in this book. Someone was saying, including Sveta and my experience, we were like almost um, half a century of experience total uh, to get to this, uh, to this book. So what are the stages of, of um, authoring a book when you actually get an uh, invitation or a, or a um, kind of a 
mutually agreed to write, there's going to be an agreement. So it's like an NDA, like documents to be signed. A bunch of um, legal documents you actually sign, and, and this is a basic, um, basically nothing but a contract, like a, like you actually uh, join a company. And um, and then you have to agree on the table of contents, at least get the outline of it, what the challenge will be since this is a fourth edition there was a requirement to um, change 60 percent of the uh, book so that um, the that was the agreement um, which which uh, was a uh, problematic at the end but um, we, we got it covered so um, so the, the other biggest uh, challenge was for me especially was the uh, platform O'Reilly has its own platform and it uses uh, certain techniques to compile a book. So if you're not like very XML oriented person or you don't have an HTML experience from the past, this might be a difficulty uh, getting um, ASCII doc or doc book. It's not like you have a Word document or a text where you could just type everything and then copy and paste things. It doesn't work that way. I'll um, explain that a little bit more later. Um, and then there is the editors assigned. So you meet with one editor, you start working, and, and then editor may change on the way. And that makes a little bit of a challenge. And then there's also a supervisor that actually overlooks for the deadlines if you are actually meeting with the chapters that are. It's very a uh, commitment uh, in the sense of like we do at work. So it's nothing but like uh, reaching the goals in every quarter, reaching the chapters and finishing them, and then and then packing them. But they go through other reviews later on in these stages. So. Um, so you should start with the difficult chapters because uh, easy chapters are, are easy to cover later on. What you should look for the um, most difficult chapters in the beginning because there is going to be some burnout uh, along the way. So there is going to be a, a research time needed. Even though you know the subjects, you're not always academically uh, qualified to put a statement in it. So you need to make sure that the information that we put in a book is correct before it even goes out to the uh, technical reviewers. So, uh, technical reviewers are assigned from uh, the authors, asked to in with, by invitation, and also a uh, publishing house like like O'Reilly will also invite external technical reviewers, which can actually be um, difficult to communicate uh, because there's the timelines when they get get back to you. So, you give a chapter after um, <clears throat> after the uh, technical review done. The, other parties, technical reviewers, may actually challenge or, or actually ask uh, to make changes. So um, <clears throat> I have to use the Grammarly for grammar um, correction um, along the way so that you can actually go back and forth with the editor as, as, as much as possible, reduce that interaction uh, with the editors. Um, there's a review process is, um, is complicated. Um, since we were two authors, we reviewed each other's work. And every time we actually complete the chapter or section, Sometimes chapters are, are uh, split. Uh, most of the time, Smith had vast knowledge of uh, certain uh, problems that she would actually jump in and fix those, and I would just do the whole chapter, um, or, or some of the chapters um, we would be split in between the two authors. <clears throat> and then there are the final edits before everything else goes. Uh, those final edits are done by uh, other other um, editors. So the reason is like it's a second set of eyes. It's a, it's another person reviewing your work. Um, editors work actually. So that's that's how it is. <clears throat> so well, how do we put all this together? Uh, we actually um, um, authoring is is confirmed, and then we get uh, we get uh, the reviews are done. Um, chapters also go through the um, quality assurance um, because there's a, there's a lot out of um, console output, the console outputs don't fit in these, uh, because it's not an electronic version, there'll be two versions, one electronic in PDF, one in uh, the portal, and one in the printed book. So it has to be uh, passing all those uh, checks, uh, character sets, uh, things need to look normal when you actually, um, from your screen to when it goes. And, um, and then they all randomly come back with a feedback because all of us sudden they say, okay, this is more than 132 characters. You can't fit this. You have to split this up. While in MySQL CLI, you can't split everything up. Some of the output are, are large and long, and uh, that was another thing to do. So the other thing is um, the bills. The bills are done on GitLab for O'Reilly. And, um, and um, basically, you write it on, on XML or XML editor or write it manually on XML on VI. And then you push the code on GitLab, you check in, and then make sure there are no conflicts. If 
where any conflicts or any errors, it won't compile. Then you hit compile, and then you say, okay, give me a PDF, PDF out of this. Sometimes it takes a long time, and um, and then and then you wait for it to see what actually was typed in as a as a um, that section or chapter or whatever the change you made. So basically, it's a cycle of um, it's like a pushing the code to a repo and then checking the output of of uh, what happened after that. So there is a this cycle of reviewing, pushing, reviewing, pushing. And moreover, um, there is also um, there is also um, the, the GitHub part. So uh, O'Reilly uses Git, uh, GitLab for the compilation of the book. Uh, we use uh, GitHub for the sequels and the scripts, all the sample data sets. So everything that on this book, any SQL statement, even it's a simple select star from customer, has a SQL file in GitHub repo. So you can actually refer to that, look, copy, paste, and, and actually take an example or um, in advance on it. So there is also the other part. Once you actually complete your um, the GitLab part, you also have to go back and make sure that all the steps in each section are, are covered as a text file, as a SQL file in the GitHub repo. So you have to check that in. And uh, again, compile, check it, make sure that everything works and no syntax errors. So um, the good part was uh, on the syntax errors, we were on MySQL 8. We mentioned this on the part of the book. So if the if you're using MySQL 8 uh, distribution, most of the syntax should work other than the latest um, updates that we, yesterday we went through some of those uh, features. Um, so the production schedule, after all that done, there is another production schedule. So this, this kicks in in the last six months of the book where we think that uh, most of the reviews are, are, are done uh, from internal and external uh, technical reviews. Uh, there's the illustration. We have an illustration on the front page, this uh, O'Reilly uh, Science and Animal of um, every book. These are endangered species. So there's a little bit of a writing about what animal is that and, and what um, the problem is. And basically, we need to protect the uh, the nature and um, and then there's a lot of cleanup goes through there's a cold control one cold control two it goes back and forth and then make sure that everything is is set and and it looks professionally before it goes to uh, press and then it goes to a sample press and you get like about 10 books of an example and then you actually take a look at it make sure that everything is spelled correctly no auto correction was made after we submitted because editors go through it and then sometimes Autocorrect and the spelling, some of those things can actually change. Um, sometimes you find, you do find actually a minor uh, character set uh, encoding errors between the code because we use it at MySQL experimenting on the um, encoding character sets and everything that there are some examples over there. So, um, key takeaways from uh, authoring a book. One of them is talk to other authors, like talk to me, and uh, before you actually uh, jump, the, jump on the gun. Uh, do the platform research and, um, and make sure that you ask what platform I'm going to be writing. If you're collaborating, maybe you know Google Doc type of or, or Word type of thing might be useful and add it with the Grammarly plugin. And um, you need to keep track of the process because in the larger books, it gets um, out of um, track very easily easily and then also dedication of time so this is done apart from our professional life apart, apart from our commitment to our work a uh, book is a uh, book actually you need to find and delegate the time of a blocks to write us like writing a blog post or anything like that you do as a, as a site uh, you need to block so I did uh, early mornings 5 to 7 a.m. Um, every morning and uh, and it, you know all the research I've done in that morning because there's no interruption and then on the weekends I you know, spread at least uh, two four-hour blocks whenever the time actually allowed. And um, so that's the work life and the book balance. It's This is like a similar to uh, doing a degree while you work and you have life, you have, you know, uh, kids and other commitments and, and social life that goes on. And uh, over committing will, will kill uh, and then it will cause other problems in, along the way. Again, it's a commitment. Um, uh, I also wrote um, a very detailed blog about uh, the book, and then there's a link, I'll share the, uh, that. And we also had a more detailed technical uh, presentation of the of the book in um, Perkona University last November, so there's a YouTube recording of that also. 
a new book? <laughs> well, I wasn't actually uh, planning to open another book about a couple of weeks ago. I was on another conference in um, Pasadena, and I got a um, book offer to write a um, database design and modeling for MySQL and Postgres. And um, I will be co-authoring with uh, Ibrar, who is actually a Postgres expert, so we can actually combine our forces to author this book. Uh, before coming over here, I, we have drafted our um, table of contents for this book, so this will start as early as uh, this summer. So I will share the uh, details with a blog post or, or some tweets. So what's in this book? Uh, you will probably get a chance to take a look at it. It's a problem solution. And um, and then we come up with problems, and then and then describe the problem. Go with some of the problems are more complex than others. So in each section there are like over 200 recipes that says, okay, how do I do this? And so so if you have an electronic version, you can make a search, you know, about you know compression or some other some other technique, replication, security, something that you are trying to figure out. Maybe there's an example. So there was a talk about a special reference system for MySQL. This is new uh, updated version in MySQL 8. So uh, one of the chapters we covered this uh, with examples, uh, giving some you know like a SQL state have to use the, the reference system and then uh, creating a sample uh, table for a uh, point of interest and then inserting data that uh, squares that and, um, and then we can create an index on the uh, special system and then uh, measure the distances between using the built-in functions and uh, we have um, some of the functions that allows you to get um, that and uh, this is um, this is the, again uh, MySQL 8's improved uh, system that um, if you're actually on the location based uh, services that's built into the database, you can actually now try that. And um, this is the book. And um, also, there are four, uh, three other books came out in relatively um, same time frame. If you're learning MySQL, I recommend uh, taking a look at especially the learning MySQL. And uh, that was my original idea and, and the one that I wrote about booklet. Uh, the Fission MySQL is for more advanced uh, and the high performance MySQL is for the ecosystem. So how to get uh, how to get things done in the MySQL world with the proxies, you know, backup recovery, scalability, sharding and, and all that kind of um, details are in those books. So so set of uh, these four books will cover you most of the MySQL learning and um, that will help you get to the next level. And thank you very much. And I can take um, I can take a question if there's any. Second. Who's your co-author on Postgres? Ibrahim Ahmed. Ibrahim. Yes. Bogona. Yes. Ibrahim from is a principal consultant, so we will be actually authoring. I will make the official announcements once uh, more details are coming up. Any other questions? Anybody wants to write a book? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we need more books. <laughs> so the, the pandemic era, there was some gap. Uh, people actually didn't publish as much because there's, there was less interaction. And there are some of the older books. Um, have been kind of outdated, like six, seven years old. They are same subjects, but for more modern, um, as you know, both MySQL and Postgres are advancing every release. There are new features are coming out. There's more um, distributed databases are in the market. So there's a opportunity. Don't think that, oh, this book was written. I don't need to write a book. That's not the case. There's always a new version, like, like we had to spend uh, uh, two and a half years for a book that's on the fourth edition. So that means we cannot just sit and say this book was written three times. We don't need to write it anymore. So, any other questions? Are there any uh, students over here? Students, students, you get the book. <laughs> so, um, well, one more quick update. Um, we, I have uh, donated from my um, book budget uh, seven of them in, in the universities in Istanbul um, to. Uh, students, after they read them, they actually donated to the library of the university. So I hope you actually take a look at it, read it, and uh, and then donate it to your university, um, and then and then uh, so some other students can take benefit. For the all the royalties from my part, part for this book, 
uh, will be donated to earthquake victims in Turkey. We had a major disaster in, uh, about uh, two months ago, so I've uh, donated. Um, donations will be coming for all the royalties from my part for the earthquake victims for this year. So if anybody buys, we'll be helping the earthquake victims. Um, we have um, we have some uh, sample books over here, and we will be signing books. Please uh, get in line, and then as much as we are allowed, uh, I want to share some of the books with you. Thank you very much. <laughs>